doing a follow up to this review uh, the army combat shirt uh, I reviewed it last time and I made its finer points out uh, the material it's made out of uh, just uh, the basic information um, I airsoft field tested it uh, quite a bit of times now under my uh, OTV vest works great perfect for airsoft not a, not a thing I can find wrong with it uh, real people well, real soldiers, I'm sorry, not real people. They'll they'll often complain that it that it rips. Um, I understand, you know, they're quick to get out of uniform. They you know, have to change real quick. You know, they probably do it real quick. Air softers, not not such a big deal. Um, it is made out of a very thin material. If you look at my other video, um, basically, uh, I'm here to do do a review on this again. Uh, and uh, combat shirts in general. Um, all right, so far uh, they made some improvements to this shirt. Um, they they recently took this away. There's no more logo on it, so it is just a solid flat blank modesty panel. That's what they call it. Uh, solely looks like the a, the ABU version, the Air Force, the Airman battle uniform. Um, I've yet to try that. Uh, I plan on buying one, um, and I will give a review on that as well. Um, pretty much, I can only say, from what I've experienced with this shirt, great buy, uh, great shirt, holds up very well during airsoft, wicks away sweat, perfect. Has a very funky odor to it that you can never really get rid of, though. And pretty much, you know, it's just, it's, it's a it's a good shirt, basically. Um, I'm in the process of trying to get a uh, Marpat Frog version. Uh, I've seen a lot on eBay. There's one currently on right now for $145. I suggest if you're an airsofter and you're looking for a great buy, um, you know, take it. Um, because these things, um, I've gotten wide known, widely known for owning a, being a civilian and owning one. And everybody asks me a lot of questions, so that's why I'm posting these videos. Uh, if you do have any questions about combat shirts in general, because I plan to get a couple within the following months, um, let me know. Um, that this shirt aside, um, Blackhawk is making a HPFU, which is a high performance fighting uniform. It is a sort of knockoff brand with uh, it comes in OD black and it comes in digital Marpat. The only difference between that between the Marpat Frog version and the HPFU is the HPFU is not Nomex. It is not flame resistant at all whatsoever. It does however include the ITS, the integrated tourniquet system. Uh, I, I would I would prefer this. I'm sure all military contractors know. I would you know recommend I'm sorry, recommend that all contractors look into getting these. If you can't wear camouflage in a certain area then I would suggest getting an OD possibly even black because of the integrated tour tourniquet system and the fact that it is a combat shirt. Uh, I've yet to field test them. I've yet to, to even see when they're brand new. They're $170, I believe. Wor well worth the price. Paid $135 for mine for this com for this combat shirt. Um, I, I just I want to reiterate it's great to have totally different from wearing a BDU top. Just just a whole different ball game. Almost feels like you're wearing nothing, which is great when you're out there and you got the sun beating down on you and you have all your gear on. Um, Black Hawk aside, True Spec with the company we all know and love, prototyping combat shirts. They've prototyped the multicam and they include they're going to include an ACU, a <clears throat> OD and a black version to compete with other people who are making them. I'm assuming. Blackhawk would be the the person that they are most aligned with, right, or most up against with right now. Um, I read somewhere, and I've seen a picture, and I do have a picture of that uh, that uh, prototype uh, combat shirt, which looks really nasty. But if you ask me, PM me, I'll send you a link, and you can check it out for yourself. Um, also, the guy who told me that they were um, prototype or they were going to start making them works for True Spec. So anyway. Um, I did see a Winter ACS, which is a looks exactly like this, with a Mandarin collar, turtleneck, I guess whatever you want to call it. Um, fleece, polar fleece, 
sleeves thick, very, very thick. With that, it also said that uh, the Navy's adopting the, uh, the uh, other branches of the service are adopting combat shirts. Uh, they're starting to make them more and more. The Navy did adopt the HPFU, the high performance combat, uh, high performance fighting uniform, and um, pretty much um, it's it's becoming a thing. Uh, if you want to wait a while, wait for them to come out. I understand, but for those of us who are gear horse, um, you know, we want to get them as soon as possible. Um, my my following reviews later on will be uh, Cyrus vest. I plan to rip. Uh, do a review on a replica Cyrus vest that I that I pr plan on purchasing. Um, I plan on buying a Marpat Frog version to see what it's like. I don't know if I'll keep it. I don't really use Marpat. I just want to see what it's like. If it holds up, I may keep it. I may start wearing it. But I, I there's a big issue with that, you know. But um, um, there is a comment on my. On my on my previous review of this, of somebody saying, I know where to get the Chinese knockoff version. I I left it there, and if you want that, that's fine. But I strongly advise that you stay away from that because they're poor, poorly made. They are not made out of any sort of uh, just. They're just they're poorly crafted. I've seen some uh, some multicam ones that they're just real shit. They, some work, some don't, some people complain, but the majority of what I've seen, people, they complain about it, it's not, it doesn't hold up. But, um, that's my gear review so far. Um, if you have any questions about combat shirts, uh, about gear, um, this is pretty much becoming my standard. I'm, uh, doing gear reviews, airsoft, airsoft videos, uh, plan to start doing, uh, Later on, start doing a little airsoft documentary. Once we get a better, uh, once we get a better camera, we're probably going to end up uh, doing a whole documentary on airsoft and doing a documentary on airsoft versus paintball. So all you subscribers who've seen my videos, you know, that one's for you guys. Um, if you guys want, like I said, if you guys want me to do a review on anything, uh, especially ACU gear, um, I pretty much I show you, but then I'd lose where I'm at. Because uh, it's on a tripod. I got an ACU jacket, hat, I got my boonie hat on, I got a OTV vest, camelback, got two sets of uh, trousers. Looking to get some a AC2Us uh, or A2Cus or whatever like that, the Nomex versions. Um, just, to, just to field test it all. Um, if I can get a hold of one, I'll try and get an IOTV vest. Um, and I'll give you a review on that. If not, I'll just. Uh, I, I know a guy, I can just field test it and then give you a review or something like that but um yeah also um i gotta pull a plug for for our airsoft team if you're in the corpus christi area and uh you have uh you have interest in playing uh airsoft uh feel free to go to uh, www.defconairsoft.com uh, d-e-f-c-o-n-a-i-r wow s-o-f-t wow i spelled that all right at least i hope i did I spelled that a little fast i digress nonetheless Great shirt, buy it. Uh, PM me if you got questions. Uh, comment. Um, I don't know. Do whatever, man. Show some love. Um, stay black and proud. I don't know. Just do do what you gotta do, man.